Oh, shoot. Don't do that. Don't unscrew it, you guys. Hi guys, it's Vivian the Psalm Next Door. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of my Corvin, which I got as a present for myself. And we're going to test this baby out for the first time. You know what's amazing about wine openers or wine keys? They can also open boxes. Let me put this down for two seconds. So today I'm drinking the remaining bit of the Inglenook Cabernet Sauvignon. It was actually very, very tasty. I really like it. It is it is a little bit more like tobacco-y, but it's really velvety and smooth, but also kind of herbal, leathery, savory. That's to help prep me for the wine that I am gonna open with this, because we gotta test this out. You can't just open it. I got the Model 3 Corbin, which is the most entry level Corbin system that there is. For those of you guys who don't know what a Corbin is, a Corbin is a device that will allow you to open a bottle without actually having to take out the cork, which is so amazing. Basically, there's like this needle. It doesn't displace any of the cork when you put the needle through a cork. So as wine goes up the needle, then it gets displaced with argon gas because remember, oxygen is our enemy. We do not want any oxygen. It allows you to drink the wine without opening it and it stays fresh for months, potentially to like two to three years, which is really cool. Is this really necessary? No, absolutely not. But is it cool? Yeah. Now I was looking at the other systems and to be honest, I really couldn't tell too much of the difference besides the finish of like how it looked. So I'll open this so tightly in here. I need to So here is the Corbin Model 3. There's all these little stickers on the side. But I actually should keep that because it's actually telling me instructions. Vivian, don't just throw away the instructions like you always do. What I could tell from like the other models is that, so this is like a matte finish, it's black. You can get another Model 3 that's like silver that's a little bit more expensive. The Timeless 6 has a nice like glossy finish and you can pick the colors and it comes with more accessories. The Timeless 11 is like, you know, they're just having fun. Like on your phone, you can hook it up and control your pore size. You can save your preferences and stuff like that. But that was just like a little bit too much for me. So I was like, I'm just gonna go for basic. I don't need that much. The pivot I was telling you is like very, very new. You actually do take the cork out of the bottle and then you put in the pivot pouring system and the, the pivot allows you to keep your wines up to four weeks. Whereas these, like you don't remove the, the cork, but let's say you did have a screw cap. I got two Corvin screw cap things. And basically what you would do if you had a screw cap wine is you'd unscrew it, put this on, and then I, this is where you would stick the needle. These, you can stick the needle 50 times. And then I got two argon gas capsules. These are good for 15 five ounce pours. But then if you had the pivot, this is good for 20. So that, this is like one of the things that you do have to keep buying if you use your Corbin a lot. 
Luckily, the instructions aren't that long because I am not good at setting things up I'm really bad. So this goes up and down. And then actually, in order for you to go up, you got to go up like this. You push this up. Boom. Boom. Okay. You put the argon capsule in here. And that's a twist off. Okay. So please don't explode. Insert capsule. Okay. I didn't push too hard. Make sure that this is flush. This aerator goes on top right here, supposedly. I'm gonna try it just because we can. I am gonna be drinking an Amarone. All right, so we need to pull, pull this out. Push system down. That's literally all they say. Push it down. Oh, 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 it's going in. And then it says tip bottle. All right, I have a new glass here. Tip bottle. Mm. Oh, tip bottle. <laughs> that was so stupid. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> I didn't read the last instruction. Press and release the trigger, which I think is this thing. Which way? Oh, there we go, forward. Oh. Oh my God, it's like a hose. Oh. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> okay. Mm. I'm gonna show you one more time of that aerator motion because that was so wild. Get closer, get closer. <laughs> what? Ready? Look. <laughs> it's like so spray. I guess that's the point. Let's take off the aerator. Thank you, thank you for your services. And we're gonna do one more and just gonna see the regular Forward. Oh, you have to push it all the way down. All right, so that's how it normally should look like. So this is the actual five ounce pour. Ooh, I feel like the aerator uses a lot more argon. Oh, wow. Okay, drippy, drippy. This is a huge glass. This is much more than I bargained for. Okay, okay. Let it grip. I can't waste anything. This is probably much more, I'm like here now, much more than I would have normally done it, but it's okay. So now I can, here, let's see if I can, what do I do? How do I release this? Remove system, I just go up to remove it. I'm scared. That's it. And there was a little drip. Okay, so there is like this tiny, tiny little hole, but it should close up by itself and I should be able to drink it for a few months to a couple of years. That's pretty exciting. Why would you buy a Corbin for me? I think I live by myself and I don't always drink a full bottle of wine. So a Corbin definitely gives you the flexibility. In addition, like it kind of lets me be able to like experiment. Like what if I want to drink this now and then I want to drink this six months from now or a year from now, I can see how it evolves or maybe it's like I want more choices so I can buy more bottles of wine but taste you know a glass here a glass there do I think it's necessary for everybody absolutely not 
I was just reading up instructions on how to clean this and basically you just pour some water into the spout and it'll come out the needle and then you like flick, you push some air out and then it's clean. Honestly, I should probably do that soon. Final thoughts, I think it's pretty easy to use, which I think it needs to be because there are people like me who just aren't very uh, savvy with gadgets. I'm not a big fan of the aerator. I did not think that it was gonna literally shower all over. I, I was watching other videos and I guess I should have gone like straight down so it wouldn't have gotten my glass. But I think regardless, I was watching it. It would have splattered and made it ugly, which I'm not a big fan of. A thing that people were kind of upset about is like how long it took for the Corbin to pour out. But to be honest, I thought it was like actually a lot quicker than in my memory. Like I've actually been looking at this, this system for like five years. One of the girls I knew, she had a Corbin, probably like the one of the first kinds and that was slow. The thing I guess would be kind of annoying is towards the end when it's dripping and you kind of have to wait for it to like stop dripping. But other than that, you guys, it's really, I mean, it's a small needle, what do you expect? Which is why, you know, people like to pivot a little bit better because it pours a little bit quicker. So it's kind of interesting that they have now different tiers. And I think a lot of people would be fine with the pivot. I think for me, it's like too much in the middle. I want like, I'm either gonna drink it all soon or I'm going to you know take my time and I think I wanted to go to the other end of this spectrum and then who knows maybe later if I wanted to get a pivot but yeah no I think it's really cool and it opens the doors for me especially if I open nicer bottles of wine especially just for you on the camera but yeah thank you guys for coming for my unboxing and for me to try it out you guys were right here along with me. I swear I have not used one of these things as it was very apparent as I tried to pour wine out. <laughs> Comment down below of what other content that you want me to cover. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and cheers you guys. I'll catch you guys later. You know, usually I finish it, but mm -mm, mm -mm. but take my time. It's Amarone though, nice and raisiny. Mm. Mm-mm-mm.